Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be discussing how to design a steel column subjected to an axial force, plus one or more moments. A simplified and conservative approach for simple construction is to apply the following formula. This is an interaction formula. It simply states that a large applied axial force will reduce the capacity to support moments and vice versa. Where NED is design axial force. MYED and MZED are design moments about YY and ZZ axis respectively. A is area of column. Chi is reduction factor compression. Chi LT is reduction factor bending. FY is characteristic yield stress. WPLY is plastic section modulus, YY axis. WPLZ is plastic section modulus, ZZ axis. The formula is appropriate for simple construction with hot rolled I or H sections and hollow sections. The columns can be class 1, class 2 or class 3 under compression. However, for sections which are class 3, the final term of equation should be divided by elastic section modulus instead of plastic section modulus. In the previous video, we demonstrated how to work out the axial force and the moments for a column, which you can find in the description below. If we use the same example from the previous video, where we had 203 by 203 by 52 kilograms per meter steel column with an axial force 500 kilonewtons, a bending moment around y axis 31.5 kilonewton meter and 4.7 kilonewton meter around z axis. Let's assume the effective length of the columns are 4 meters, which also are assumed to act at roof level. So, how can we check that the section size is adequate to support the loads? As the loads are at roof level, the column must be designed to take the whole of the moments. For 203 by 203 by 52 kilograms per meter steel column we have the following properties. First, we need to work out the slenderness ratio, which for S275 equals the effective length 4 meters times 1000 to convert it to millimeters divided by 86, divided by minimum radius of gyration, 51.8 millimeters. This gives us a value of 0.9. From the design curve, we should be able to obtain the reduction factor, as we get a non-dimensional slenderness of 0.9. If we extend the line to meet at this point with the curve, this gives us an approximate figure of reduction factor chi, which equals 0.58. As a result, buckling and bending stress equal 0.58 times yield strength 275 newton per millimeter squared. This gives us a value of 159.5 newton per millimeter squared. Therefore, area times buckling stress equals 1057.5 kilonewtons. Bending stress times plastic section modulus y axis equals 90.44 kilonewton meter. Yield stress times plastic section modulus z axis equals 72.6 kilonewton meter. Substituting into our equation, this gives us a value of 0.92, which is less than 1. Therefore, the column section is adequate. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.